The descent had destroyed me, and yet I lived. Uh, welcome back to the Legacy of Kane Let's Play. And uh, there was a few things I need to address uh, right now. In the last episode, I did a manual save. And not knowing that when you manual save in Soul Reaver, you don't exactly respawn where you were. You respawn yeah. back at the Elder God's room. So we had to fucking trek all the way back here. <laughs> and I didn't grab the portal, so we had to fucking really trek. And... I uh, remembered that when the last episode ended, we actually pulled this little uh, thing I'm standing on here, and I flipped this switch, and now we're officially recording. So we are officially right. back in business. Let's fucking go. And fuck this shit up some more. Oh, yeah, and <laughs> because the last recording got fucked, I am going to check <laughs> if we are recording. And we are indeed recording. Okay. Okay. We're all, we're all good. Get we're back all good. to your fucking joystick and go. Yeah, yeah, I'm going. I'm going. You fucking asshole. So we, th that's that's like the first lost episode we had. Like we we played Blasphemous. <laughs> like I played the demo uh, of Blasphemous and I wasn't recording. So a good fucking forty minute yeah. episode just down the shitter. Right. Yeah. <laughs> that sucks. It was so really it's, fun. It's always, no, no, it's always the best stuff that gets uh, thrown out in the in the trash. Or yeah, like, you're right. This LP is it's this LP is shit. <laughs> And then uh, you realize it's not recording. Ah, oh, fuck. Dude, I let out the biggest fuck. Uh, <laughs> it was absolutely agonizing. Yeah, it All was Alright, fuck it. A at least uh, I I'm really enjoying Soul Reaver. Even though I have my yeah. my grievances with its yes. absolutely awful puzzles. But it's like, eh, whatever. Story's cool. I oh. mean, Hello. you have not having grievances on an old game, uh, that would be a surprise. Have you seen my favorite games, bro? <laughs> not all of them, but yeah, I get it just... Uh, oh, one day I'm gonna show you. You're gonna be like, <laughs> dog, how the fuck do you even get out of bed in the morning? Oh, man. Alright. So, yeah, we've been here. Great, great, great! See, hey, I, I noticed that there's like the... the uh, like obvious differences in uh, taste of games that, between you and me, but we do have uh, certain games in common. There's a lot of overlap, but, but there's a very specific uh, branching point where we differ, and it's oh, absolutely, it's yeah. difficulty. You have yeah. no tolerance for uh, failing over and over. Oh Ugh, shit! No. I'm in the the overall, and I have <laughs> no tolerance for cheap deaths. <laughs> cheap deaths. Yeah, yeah. Or, yeah. I don't mind overly easy games. In fact, I've played overly easy games before. It's just, what I hate is when the game just goes, Ha ha ha, I killed you. So yeah. stuff like uh, flashback quest for identity, or <laughs> any kind of cinematic platform, or if you make like a single little pixel-sized mistake and the game kills you, sure. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go play something else. Fuck off. I can't remember wh uh, what game it was. Uh, it was on a PS3 the last time I played a game. I think it was Crisis Two or Three. And it might be it was in, two. In the, it might be two. Uh, the, the the boss is a, is a total nightmare, and he's got the uh, the the bow, and he's, he's got the, the the invisible camel for a few seconds. Yep, cool, that's cool that's super. probably two because the bow was a big big uh, marketing thing at that time. And okay, I'll be honest, I'm I have crawling. no idea where to go. <laughs> I'm, this sucks. I'm crawl uh, upward. Probably. It looks like there's a thing down there. Yeah. And um, I'm in the sewers. And, they're, you know, like con like connected sewers and shit. And then there's like an opening. There's like a in a valley in, a, in one of the sewers. There's a bunch of, of uh, bad guys. And they see me through the fucking wall. And they're shooting me in the head. And I could hear like I like he's over there. He's like, how the fuck can you see me? I, the the game was, the game was uh, obviously broken, and it would that yeah. Me well, the welcome fuck to console off. games trying to emulate PC games. Then again, the Crisis was never that great. 
So, it's, it's not much of a loss. Okay, I have no idea what's behind this door, but let's check. Well, at least some of the progress wasn't lost during the, the fucking up. Oh, that's when I flipped the switch. Yeah. So what flipping that switch actually did, I don't know. And how do I get back right. up to the spiral staircase with all the bells? I do not know either. Well, just go through the every single door as you'll find out eventually. Yeah. I don't even know what that is. Just, that looks cool. It, it, yeah, you're gonna get there. Eventually. Oh wait, wait! Wasn't there like an air current? Yes, it is. Is it still there? Hey, I remembered. Good. Yeah, the the, the two wooden pads were a, a clutch to it. Yeah. So the the, the ventilation. I uh, the sound didn't yeah. play. That's why I was like, why is yeah. like I didn't get it, and then I remembered you had so, to jump down there. So now you have to go like place the cubes. I'm pretty sure that's still done. Uh, are you sure? Even though yeah, you, uh... yeah, that's probably still done. And if that's not done, do it. Just okay. Go, that's the go last go bell again. I have to ring. So I'm gonna go check on the first door, but I'm pretty sure the cubes were done. Just make sure. Just make. If sure not, we will out. absolutely so cut around it. That. I'm not making people watch this twice. No, uh, no, 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 of course not, of course yeah. not. Say what you will about block puzzles, I don't like them. Yeah. Unless you can do them, like, yeah. really quickly. Let's see. Yeah, it, it was a staple of Tomb Raider, and, uh... I guess so. It, it, got, it, it got old real quick, though. Yeah, when, when it's your only thing you got, it's a little... Yeah, yeah, It's yeah, a little yeah. shitty. Yeah. Okay. But I, I love the... Uh, yeah, see, the, the cubes the are, in fact... And the pipe is still in the exact location I left it. So it right. did All save right. the state of the world, which is awesome. So you you have other chambers like that to go through. Yeah. So kill this bastard. He's dressed pretty cool, though. Yeah, he's, he's, he's almost like a Templar or something like that. Yeah. All right. Do, 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 to the do, next do. chamber. Yeah, so leave this one. Uh, that's not a thing. Hey, there's uh, a chamber. Uh, there you go. I'm getting used to the controls at least. Like, yeah, mobility course. itself is is strange, and the frame rate is pretty like garbo. But I'm getting used to it. I'll probably be really good at it at the end of the game. Who knows? You know, at this point, the 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 graphics that is that are garbage. Oh no! Matter. What? Shit! Other? It's more. Yes, I told you. Oh no! I'm in. There's I'm in least... for it. Am I? There there's, there are four rooms like that. So you're on the sec you're on the second room now. Boy, okay, well there we go. That's what I signed up for. Yep. That's that's the price I pay. Fuck her up. For Fuck her up, buddy. Yeah. You know what? Uh, oh, take the spear. Take the spear and leave oh, yeah, them in a... the. Take the spear. Uh, the, the 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 pipes. Yeah, and leave like... them skewered. Yes, exactly. Skewered so that it, they won't respawn again. Yeah. That's a thing we, we hypothesized last time. Hmm. It's probably what the game expects you to do, to be honest. Probably. It's, it sounds so smart in terms of game design. It's like, don't collect the souls of your enemies. Oh, they're fighting each other yeah. now. Impale you. Okay. Do the same with the other one. Go find a bank. Yeah, but I gotta stun him first. Yeah. And the uh, camera's not being too kind right now. Yeah. There's the other pipe. I don't think there's a second one. Oh, yep, there it is. Yes, there it is. Nice. Where are you, buddy? Right there. Okay. But there we go. You, you'll, now you'll I can need, breathe. You'll need souls, though. That's the thing. Yeah, but if right I need forward. souls, I'll just switch to the netherworld. Yeah. But okay, so these again. are two. Oh, yeah, right, yeah. Wait, how do we do these? So, just like a U, the letter U. Oh, okay, they have to be self contained. Okay, so I need two corners. Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, there, there's there, you one. You got one right there. And if I flip it twice, it's going to be in the right location. Yeah. And flip it. But and put it on, on the right side. Push it. The other side. Oh, in the, okay, in that way. Yeah. Okay, well, that's that's fine. That's fine. Oh, it ticks to tell me. Yeah. 
Okay, so that's a straight. That's, that's a straight, straight one. That's, that's a, a corner. Curve. So yep, that's... flip it. And then. Drag it. You have to flip it again twice. Yeah. On that side. Again. Flip it again. There you go. No, Wait, you have to flip yeah, it again yeah, because the hole is on the that's bottom. That's wrong, yeah. Twice, actually. Oh, no, just once from this go. side, and then I can push it in. Yeah. It should be fine. There you go. Here we go. Okay. Next up, next up, next up. Yeah, they, they don't respawn. Sick. Yeah. Okay. So... Uh, what about you? I need a corner and then a straight line. Uh, exactly. So that looks like a straight line to me. Sure is. Yep. Oh, sorry. Game, please. Oh yeah, I, I started uh, playing Prey again. Yeah. But uh, this that. time I'm, I'm checking the game to Nightmare. Just okay. the hardest difficulty. And uh... Yeah, there's some there are some parts of the game that are just like uh, do this ever correctly had, like, or fail. Have you ever had like some games with like puzzles that are so insanely difficult? I mean, you were scratching your brains for hours on end. Uh, depends on the game, but I remember Anti Chamber being pretty hard, and I gave okay. up on it. Okay. I'm usually pretty decent at puzzles because I mm -hmm. got like, good logical like deduction skills, but yeah. Uh, stuff that requires me to like num um, remember names and stuff would probably be like a weakness. Stuff like Sherlock okay. Holmes investigations, I wouldn't be able to do. <laughs> yeah, the, the, I've never played that game though. Uh, Sherlock could, Holmes. could be a thing, but my problem with um, these detective style games is you're never really solving the puzzle. You're just basically, what's the right solution here, you know? Yeah. Okay, now I have to. Flip it and f flip it and push it in. I'm doing a lot better now than last time. Yeah, of course. Thank goodness. I still have no idea what those are. There, those are a switch on the floor that you'll have to sw like uh, pivot, and then it's gonna start like bigger pipes so that there's more wind, and when you have all the 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 pipes ready you will be chiming the bells uh quick as, as quickly as possible so you can open something a portal or uh like for the next boss or whatever i can't remember exactly damn that's that's a lot of steps yeah no. oh god i am curious to see what the next one's gonna be because this is all fucking new so, it's like, if the first boss was just this puzzle yeah. you don't fight, I'd be shocked if the next one was, like, completely different. Okay. Yeah. No, I think I get it. I think I get it. This this has the image of two bells. So, I'm assuming I just have to ring two bells. So, my first instinct would be just kick this one, then fly all the way down there. ASAP. Wait, why is it not making noise? Is the audio bugged? That's what it, so it sounds bugged to me. There you go. And then hustle all the way down there. Okay, this is right, right there, onto, onto your right, right there, right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is where the court. Okay, you know the, the lever you just uh, switched on. There you this go. This is where yeah, we go. So the audio is bugged now, but the the sound okay. was carrying through, and I rang the second bell. Which will shatter okay. the glass, and I have to go back, flip the crank, come back here. Through the window, you can open. The, you can go uh, to, to the that that place where the because the, yeah, I think the the crank is on a timer. Yeah, it's clearly on, on a timer. timer. So you, once you you cranked it, it's freeze time. You, now the sh the window is shattered. You can climb down there, and then you can go to the. Hey, watch out, man! Your uh, your Discord audio connection or whatever—it's very terrible right now. My apologies. 
Yeah. Well, not much we can do about it, but no. make sure the girlfriend is not siphoning the internet. No, of course not. Make sure to make sure to put her back in the cage if she misbehaves. <laughs> <laughs> no, I am the gimp. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oof. Should I should I? I ask should I ask our artist to put no. you in a gimp suit for the no. the profile no. picture? Okay, freeze. Freeze time, if you have time. That is not how time works. <laughs> no, no, but spectral realm is in is in in eternal. So yeah, clearly, see? clearly, clearly, clearly. You see this, folks? This is why you don't listen to your elders. You don't want to listen to the elders. Yeah, but the elder is wrong in this particular case. No. The door literally closed as I was shifting there. I want to see how long you have. One. Two, three. Yeah, you clearly cannot do this without just attempting so, this. Or wait, so maybe it's not time freeze. Maybe the, the geometry will change and the door can't close now because of the change exactly. in geometry. No, it's it's simply because you're freezing time. Clearly not. Look at the fire. It's spectral, spectral fire. Oh well. well yeah, that literally makes that. no sense. That literally makes no sense. I know, but that's how it is. I've played that game so many times, I know what the fuck I'm, I, I remember. So okay. now you can go back. This is the first okay, time okay, I'll do this. Okay. Leave in the comment okay. if that was bullshit, because that's bullshit. Okay. Go in there, go in there, and you'll see the wall climb back in. Look, look, look. It's it's already it's too back. late. It's literally yeah. already too late. Like I told you. Yeah. See? So I told you. Yeah, you're the only person in existence who can tell you this. If that If that was a regular playthrough by anybody, Everybody would be on Google by now. That is horseshit. Didn't see that crap in a <laughs> Okay. So, okay. You see the pipe? Climb up. Yeah, obviously. Because I jumped and, down. And here. if you and if you can't, go in the spectral realm. Yep, because it's, it's going to warp the out. pipe. Of course. Just going to knock this guy out. There you go. Did you say warp or work the pipe? Uh, warp the pipe, pretty sure. Okay. Just don't want to fall down, that's why I'm sneaking. Those cocoon will open sometime. Not now, but they will. Eventually. Eventually. Okay. Oh, actually, gonna be um, I have an idea. What? Go online and look up the yep. manual for this game. I think I have an idea. The manual. The manual. Because in the manual, it probably says you can stop time by going in the spirit realm. And that's your cue. Because yeah. back then, shit like that was in the manual. So I took a wrong turn. Oh, God. Ugh, pizza. It's as good as on your way down as it went back up? No, that's factually incorrect. I know. Although we wish. <laughs> Seriously, man. Luigi makes the best fucking pizza. <laughs> Even though technically it's not Luigi who makes the pizza. It's, uh... I don't remember his name, actually. I think it's Omar or something. It's the, the Algerian... Honest, Algerian guy makes some really good pizza, is what I'm saying. I, I don't want to offend to anybody, but I have to be honest. The Greeks make the best Italian food. Seriously. Uh, I'll, I'll disagree. I'll disagree. Pizzas. I'll disagree. Pizza. Greeks make Pizza. great Greek food, but... Yes. If you're talking cheap-ass, like, delivery pizza, yeah, of course, anybody can make that easy. Ooh, no. Wrong. Oh, yeah. Everybody I, can make a good one. There, there, are good, there are good Italian restaurants... Mostly, good retailing restaurants are very expensive restaurants. But if you like a, yeah. a, a regular delivery pizza, submarines, hamburger, and all that shit, the if you want to go to a delicatessen in Montreal, yeah, they're all Greek owned. Oh, and that not actually all, but... opens it up and locks it in, probably. Yeah, that locks it in. So now this puzzle yeah. is over. Okay, I'm just gonna go back in the spectral realm. Farm HP yeah. and be right back. Do 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 do. Soundtrack we is really say, weird Montreal, now. 
In Montreal, we have the best diversity of restaurants known to man. Okay, I am not well versed in other cultures' restaurants, but I'm still gonna say, yeah! <laughs> hey, come on, like, in which place of the world could you actually get a poutine, sushi, and, like, lobster on the same exact street? Oh, damn. The answer is fuck off. <laughs> and not gonna lie, lobster, Probably. highly overrated. It's it's still okay, oh. like, it's still good. But fuck you, snow crab oh, is way better. Oh, it's, 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 you're comparing tomatoes and onions, dress me on this. No. No. No, no, it's, crabs are fucking awesome. Yeah, but Lobsters crabs are, are way superior to lobster. I know, I know. That's that's not onions like, and tomatoes. Like that is no, just no, a fact. It, it, the variety, you know, so the variety is. Different. That is true. There's not that much variety when it comes to lobster. I'm assuming, but uh, when it like comes to seafood, crab, yeah. The, the 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 variety of seafood, like 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 accessible to everybody. Oh, you ever notice how there's more variety in the seafood than uh, land mammal food? Yeah, that's fucked up. That's really fucked well, up. Uh, you got beef, you got a horse, you got... No, but I mean, in, in general, okay, no, if we go by game, let's let's mm -hmm. remove game from here. But it's like, what is the most yeah. common seafood you eat? You got shrimp, crab, lobster, fish. And oh, when fish you go to uncommon, you may get, like, squid. I... I, I Sorry, I'm, I'm trying to get this. Out of my ass, but it's where we talk from, it's okay. Is this is YouTube. <laughs> we spew facts, not opinions. But yeah, when you, okay. when you look at terrestrial food, what's the most exotic thing you see that is not just game? It's like veal, uh, uh, mutton. Emu. emu apparently is very delicious. Yeah, but that's it's very, very rare. Like you won't see that yeah, everywhere. Yeah, but it, it, it's a, it's very expensive meat though. Yeah. There, there. But there's, there's a. Uh, there are farm emu farms, and trust me, apparently the meat is fucking. I eat an emu, man. I uh, me too. I try yeah. that shit any day. You know the, the strange thing is, uh, you made me taste horse, and when oh, I was dude, down, yeah, I mean, dude. I never. My my mother made me try to like a, a horse steak. Okay, I guess and, if you now, that's too. That that's too thick. That's too that's too rich for okay, my Okay, so here's the thing. It's, it's not my horse meat. But for those who don't know, horse meat is 100% edible. It's not cruel. They're not killing little ponies and serving them out on your plate. No, no, of course not. Veal is fucking course. cruel because it's literally eating the children. But here's the thing. Yeah. Horse meat is actually cheaper and tastes yeah. better than ground beef. Not a real steak. Yes. If you want to go for a real steak for horse, that's a different story. It's essentially yeah. you got to have the filet mignon and you got to cook yeah. it very lightly, very carefully because you don't want to burn it, right? Yeah. But horse is yeah, cheap and it's delicious. It tastes almost exactly like beef, just oh, yeah. more bloody. If you like a bloody steak, yeah. horse is like way better. But and when it comes it, to... Sorry, there's man. No, there's no leaner meat than, than horse. There's barely oh, no yeah, fat. Oh, yeah, there's it. barely any fat in it. Uh, which is why you should probably cook it, like, very carefully. Because you don't want to fucking just ruin yeah. it. Okay. Uh, but that, that's this, oh, it's right there. In, in, in the steak, that's what makes the taste of it. Yeah. Good, you need, you need of, to have, uh, like, the pinker your steak, the better it is. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, we got another one of these... When, I don't know, it's people who eat, like, blue steak, like, oof. Oh, I can do that. That's, That's, it depends on the steak and the, uh, the, the thickness of it. Okay. But something that is almost raw, like, ugh. It, like I said, it uh, really depends on what steak you're eating. Yeah. For, personally, I've, I've tasted once uh, uh, steak tartare. Oh, no, that's too uh, much. Oh, that was good, man. That was literally really uncooked steak is too much. Marinated, it's a different thing. It's a different thing. And, but usually, like tartare steak, are usually made by cordon bleu uh, chefs. So, so yeah, real chefs. Yes, real chefs. Okay, let's see. That's clearly not where it's supposed to go. But it's clearly where it's supposed to go here. Is it? Yes, it is. Oh. Um. Uh, 
the one thing that I really, really liked uh, at one point is uh, one of my uh, family members, my uncle, uh, he's a professor in university for French, but he's also like sure. uh, an avid like cook on his own time. And at one point, mm. he made what is called in French, I don't know the name in English, but it's called a fumé. It's like okay. a, uh, a seafood broth. Right? And he basically yeah, made yeah. a seafood pizza using a uh, snowshoe crab. Oh. Best fucking thing I've ever eaten in my life. It was like a oh, very light tomato sauce slathered mm. in fucking horseshoe meat. It was, uh, it was so good. <laughs> We're all going to be hungry by the end of this episode. <laughs> okay, that's where I need to put it. Okay, uh, flip it. And then... Flap it. And then flop Up it. it. I'm and starting to understand it. how this works. And flip it. And, and schlop, schlop it into the carrier. Alright, this one as well. Okay, this one, the legs so, don't go in the right location. What's your take on uh, Ubisoft making Star Wars? Ooh, okay. Uh, one, I'm not supposed to reference Star Wars, but this is Frank and me, so he has to. Yeah. Number one, I don't like Ubisoft anymore. I used to like them huh. when they were pre, uh, pre-swirling toilet logo. I don't know how else to call it. <laughs> I used to love Splinter Cell. I, I think I still do. Yes. Like the, the games are so oh. solid as fuck. Yes, they are. But yes, they are. modern Ubisoft is absolutely a fucking travesty of what it once was. Uh, yeah. However, they have. I know they have talent. Like I've yeah. known people who work there. They're not okay. all garbage. They're just stuck of making crap. I honestly think that maybe if they're not forced to make another Assassin's Creed game. And they actually, like, do the Jedi Fallen Order thing. Where they're like, let's try just to make a damn video game. Mm -hmm. Oh, they gave me other blocks. Okay. I, yeah. didn't, I didn't notice. <laughs> uh, if they actually try and not make a fucking Assassin's Creed game again, we might have a decent Star Wars game. And I say decent. Not good. Yeah. Just decent. I don't care if we get a good or a bad Star Wars game. I just hope people eventually realize that Star Wars is horribly limited. And then we can move past well, this shit. But we won't. I know that, that uh, other game companies wanted to do a uh, GTA-style Star Wars. And of course... Sounds horrible. EA, he, EA scrapped the project and... it was I think it was called the Project Ragtag. Something like that. But It was called Project I, Vaporwave. Uh, vaporware, sorry. Uh, that shit was never gonna happen. However, if well, you were to make a Star Wars away, game, no. yeah. the best thing you could do for a Star Wars game is just rip off Jedi Knight. Just do that again. That's all people care KOTOR. about. No, you can't. There's no mm -hmm. good writers anymore. You cannot do KOTOR again. Good writers are dead. It's just not happening. Uh, Amy Hennig is a good writer. Yeah, but does she write for Star Wars? Writer. Um, I'd say maybe, get Chris yeah. Avalon to do like Kotor two two. <laughs> it's not gonna happen. No, seriously, folks. If you've never played Knights of the Republic, uh, if you like the original trilogy, play uh, play Kotor two. If you like the sequel or prequel trilogy, you can play Kotor one. This is not an insult to your intellect in any way. Uh, it's simply because uh, KOTOR 1 is very, very adventure-oriented, while KOTOR 2 is almost like uh, a deconstruction of the genre. So it's, it, it, it shits on the Jedi, it shits on the Sith. It's basically like, you guys are basically all idiots. It's an interesting take on uh, Star Wars. By the way, Amy Annie is actually uh, writing a Star Wars game. I don't know for if it's for Ubisoft or if something. Oh, she's currently writing it. Yeah. Is that the Uncharted lady? Yes. Okay. Well, she's gonna make a very good Kotor One game. Ooh, yeah. There's my health power up. I needed. No, she, that that woman. Pizza. She 
she, well, she she wrote uh, the the story for Legacy of Kane, Soul Reaver, anyways, and Soul Reaver too, and Legacy of Kane Defiance. So, and the I don't Uncharted remember Kane. anything about Defiance. And uh, oh, I, I actually checked out uh, a let's play of the first Legacy of Kane game, like Blood Omen. Mm -hmm. Oh boy, that game is bad. <laughs> oh boy, that game did not age well at all. It, it's very dull. It's very repetitive, and oh. probably the only good thing about it is voice acting. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah. There's not much. Let's just say that uh, Silicon Knights did their best, but, bruh, they got blown up. <laughs> they got blown up by Soul Reaver. I don't think that the series would have survived uh, a single game. Yeah, the 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 strength that happened like some ten years ago or something like that that it really hurt Hollywood. Yeah, I don't think we've we will ever recuperate from this. I have not seen any oh, no. piece of media recently that had really really good writing, outside of maybe the movie Arrival, yeah. which was fantastic. Yeah, well, that's that's uh, uh, that's Villeneuve. Denis Villeneuve. Denis yeah. Villeneuve makes. He made a lot of good movies. He doesn't man. make movies, he, made... he makes perfection. That's a different thing. <laughs> yeah, no, no, he makes works of art. He is a Montreal boy, right? Yes, he is. Okay, so that's why we can well, suck yeah, his dick in public. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, uh, Arrival's my favorite movie of all time. Like, it's really unstoppable. Uh, I like wow. science fiction. I like smart science fiction. And the moment this guy comes up, he's like, Okay, I made a science fiction movie. All based around communication. I was like, I'm in. I'm in. It's not. It's not <laughs> another just trying to be predator or aliens. Sick. Those were yeah. already perfect. You don't need to do like more. Oh, there's, I, how many there's. movies have you seen from? Uh, I Didn't think. Uh, how many uh, two. There was. Only two. There was Arrival, and I think 2049. Okay. The, 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 the Blade Runner he made, but I I, yes, yes, cool. I honestly yes. I just I don't care for Blade Runner. Like I know it's no, a right. sin, but the I I watched like twenty minutes of oh. twenty forty nine. I was like, eh, it's, not I my, it's not my thing. I'm gonna watch the Dune remake but, though. Dune remake is probably sick. Yes, it is will. it out yet? But you know what? Again, no, it's gonna it's it's been delayed. I think. Yeah, it's uh, or it's gonna either it's gonna come out at the end of the year by twenty twenty one. Oh okay, but no. Seriously, um, is there's a the first movie that like like make him a big star? Was it Enemy? Was it in the, No, it was called Polytechnic. It, oh, it was about a, the, the the massacre of a university, a, a, a guy who killed a bunch of uh, student. I girls. think it was like fourteen uh, women. Yeah, something like that. It was a pretty and, big kill count in Montreal. Seriously, that movie when I saw it, like I was like, gut smack. I was like, I mean, it's pretty shocking I was stuff. Speechless. Oh yes, it is. You think only and, America has school shootings? Nah, yeah, nah. It's and, just ours don't happen you know, on a you, daily basis. When I no in Canada, of course not. But when I came no, out I of the movie possible. theater, I w I was speechless for hours. I was so shocked, so disturbed. But it was a real good movie. The second one. Uh, he, he did after that it was Prisoners and it's really good I did not hear about that one uh, Prisoners is really good uh, it's 2013 it's uh, a guy who his son has disappeared or child I can't remember if it's a boy or whatever it doesn't matter offspring and and he looks he, he's looking for a, a culprit and in the small town there's a, a kid who's like he's mentally challenged and he, he believes it's him who kidnapped his son and he's on the hunt for looking for the the kidnapper or whatever that's weird and no no it's, it's it is a really really good movie and after that he did enemy okay, enemy uh, was before you go strange. on before you go on with enemy yeah. where the fuck yeah. am i supposed to go i'm kind of like confused right now <laughs> uh I'm like wandering around like an, a headless chicken, but that was okay. No, I know where to go now. Was, well, I know where to go. I, I know where to go to see the glass bubbles. It was this yeah. one. 
I'm a little out of it because I'm just tired, but I'll, I'll, I'll manage. You can so you can soldier on him. I did take a coffee, god damn it. I thought you didn't leave a comment if coffee. this is annoying. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, I'm if you're listening, if you're just listening to our banter, even if you don't have the window like the the thing up and it's minimized in a corner, I appreciate it. Uh you're all <laughs> fucking soldiers. I love you all. Yes, you are. Yep. Okay. There you go. So I have two. So, switch them on. Oh, that's cute. Okay. See if that changes anything. Well, these things are now opened. Okay. I doubt that would work, but... Well, at oh, least... You know. I can go here, though. Yeah, man, this game's original time com to completion was probably, like, 30-plus hours just from all the trial and error. Yeah, of course. Let's see. I'm not a big fan of trial and error, like, in general. Yeah. But then again, back in the day, if this game had any kind of direction like modern games do, I'm pretty sure it would just be forgotten because it wouldn't be as engaging. Okay. So these things, what do... Go back in the... The real realm. Well, I'm trying to find the location to do this. At the entrance. I am stupid. <laughs> huh? Oh, I'm not full health. Turbo! <laughs> A few months may moments later. A few moments later. <laughs> yeah, there it is. It's so silly, but editing is, editing is fun. Okay. Who knows, maybe I can actually get some work as an editor uh, post-COVID. Of course. So I'm assuming you have to weigh these downs. First. Oh, fuck off, mate. Actually, no, you have to pull them up. Oh. Until the fight up. Yeah! Burn, baby, burn. Um, maybe unless you have to, to have all the four pipe. Oh, there he is. Oh, there's a black part. Player. There's a black part to the lid. It's yeah. like some musical instrument. Yeah. Okay. Don't know what that did, but apparently it does a thing. Oh, it helps something. I don't know. I can't remember specifics. <laughs> yeah. I don't think it's. I can't remember. At this point, is I don't fucking know either. <laughs> this is <laughs> so weird. How the fuck are you supposed to know anything about this? There's barely any like signposting. These are human, dude. That, I should that's not be struggling. That, that that's the thing. When I when I heard that there was like fans who still played like Final Fantasy, like some 20 years later and they found a secret passage i mean whoa oh, yeah but it was basically the because developers... it was final fantasy 9 and it was basically people found a quest that was so it was essentially only Secure. available at a very specific moment in the game and you could miss it and some guy just randomly stumbled upon it in a magazine somewhere and was like wait what <laughs> But today, with data mining, it's hard to hide things. Yeah. But do, do developers still uh, keep secrets from fans as, well, you haven't found everything, blah, blah, blah. Or, uh, like, you know, the, like the, the... the latest I've heard is uh, there was a developer, I think, for Mega Man 9 or 10. There was an endless okay. mode, and one of the developer was like, not everybody has found uh, the, all the secrets. And he was kind of alluding that the last secret was in endless mode. But considering that fans just cheated their way through the endless mode until the game would essentially crash, oh, uh, okay. we we're pretty much sure that he was just lying. It's just not possible to hide shit from players anymore. Like, everybody yeah. will know. Like, data miners know shit way in advance now. Okay, so that helped the thing. Cool. Uh, 
Would it help me fly? But not in here, because... Oh, you're in the spectral realm. Yeah, 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 yeah. And we're back. So sorry about that little uh, thing. We had to check it up on YouTube. And apparently yep. the the piano or the organ valves here, yep. there's a special yep. order in which to we'll open or close them. Yeah. So, so I'm going to have to go back in the material it, world yeah. and do that again. Again, how the fuck were you supposed to know? I have no clue. Hey, then again, I, I like knowing if there's a way to actually know shit. Yeah, so close the first one on the left. Okay. Just gonna make sure I kill this one. And uh, make sure I'm next to it. Well, especially on the right side. Okay. There you go. So that's one. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And I'm assuming the other one is the same thing. You have to close one uh, of the hatches. Yeah, you have to. Uh, Maybe it make, wants you to uh, make like a very specific musical note, but I am no musician, so. <laughs> How the fuck should I know? Ooh. That's still cool. Okay. So. Uh, my best suggestion is to... I don't, I don't know exactly which one to start, but... I'm gonna try. I'm gonna just close every one of okay. them. Okay. Well, you have you have three, so you have... Technically, you have six options. Six to nine options. Possibilities. There it is. There we go. And here we go. Hopefully, the boss should be soon. I think these I'm levels sure. are long. I, I'm not sure, but I think that that one is like um, Margot's wet nurse. Is a a lot of limbs. Oh, spider spider style. Well, at least I got some direction now. Yeah. So imagine Thanks for uh, cutscene, though. You assholes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. All right. You know what? Missed it by that much. Nah. <laughs> I feel like your your timing being when you're attacking them always we miss. It. Are always missing it. I always miss a bunch of things. Okay, here we go. <laughs> That's the weirdest gurgling. Yeah. <laughs> so bizarre. I know. Alright, let's see. I can you imagine the, Again, the, uh, feet. Oh. the voice actors making hours on end of like voices of grunting or crying or screaming, <laughs> moaning. Have you seen this? moaning? Ugh. Crying. So now, so glad of I'm course, not a voice to, actor. to help you up, you, you have to go with the spectral realm. Yeah, I'm just checking if I can do things first. And here they die again. Alright, it's very cool where it is. You never used your uh, your ability, huh? You should have. Not yet, no. The answer is yes, I should have, but I don't use abilities because I'm a masochist, I guess. Dumbass? Like, it's no, like, yeah, hey, look, you have this one, one, uh, one shot kill spell. Yeah, okay. Just... Sure. I'll never use it. I'll never <laughs> fucking use it. I don't know why. I just don't like using consumables. Not because I have fear of running out. I just feel like the game is just made so you don't have to. It's like stealth games. Here's here's a billion cool abilities. Like, okay, cool. I'll just use my knife. 
<laughs> like, I did sticks on goblin mode on my first playthrough without ever using oh, powers no. or abilities. Because I was like, I don't care about powers or abilities, I just want a traditional stealth game. I, I make every stealth game the most boring shit to ever play, but I like it that way. Okay, fuck me, this is tight, but there you go. Yeah. Man, this, this fortress is huge. Yeah. Oh. Okay, there's another bell here. Yeah. I, I can remember if there's three or four bells, though. Can you imagine getting away with this, like, today? Fuck. That's pretty relaxing, though. Yeah. Like, I just came from playing the Bloody Palace in Devil May Cry 5, and... <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ, there's a big difference here. Well, knock the belt to see if that changes anything. Oh, yeah, true. Summons enemies. <laughs> I'm trying to avoid as much combat as possible. Oh, God. <laughs> it is a yeah. slippery pipe. Mario could do a better job. <laughs> yeah. I'm still shocked that there's not a single Mario game out there where you actually do some real plumbing. <laughs> like, fucking cripplingly weird. Yeah. Then again, I'm pretty sure Mario just waiting and shit would not make for a very oh compelling mascot God. anymore. <laughs> That movie, that movie, seriously. Ah, that movie's Mario. fine. That movie's fine. Oh, fuck. It's no. not even remotely the worst one. Oh, I know, but damn. That's... Like, Oof. dude, if we're going to talk about bad movies, we can't even open our mouths without saying Birdemic. No, no we're going to stick with movies based on games. Okay. Don't go Birdemic. Uh, Alone in the Dark is the worst one, then. Or Postal. Postal movie is pretty fucking terrible. Why am I trying I this? Pull? Cool. Uh, yeah, but it, there's like a bunch of shit on it. Wouldn't that just make them fall? There you go. Yeah. There you go. Ooh, that's terrible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, when it comes to video game movies, like the Mario one might as well be one of the better ones. Uh, the oh, Prince, God, the Prince of no. Persia one is actually quite nice. Yeah, it's okay. Fucking worse, but uh, the Lara Croft oh. ones are all pretty bad. Max Payne is not even watchable. Oh, it's just fucking abysmal. No, Mortal Kombat it's, it's, one is probably no. You, no, you know what? Mortal Kombat one is the best one. When it comes to oh, video yeah. game movies, like it, it's just clownish. It's it's made that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no, wait. Um, but I mean, Sonic the Hedgehog. Apparently, people really like it. <laughs> or the Detective yeah, Pikachu it, one is uh, also uh, something that people really like. Oh. And again, we probably uh, need like a list of video game movies because I haven't seen all of them. Uh, and I, I still refuse to acknowledge the fact that Dragon Ball Evolution and Monster Hunter were made into movies. Uh, that's not a thing. No, but apparently, uh, I didn't see Assassin's Creed, but apparently it's not bad. Oh, yeah. It's like when people called the Hitman movie bad. I'm like, what's bad about it? It's literally just a bald guy going around shooting people. Like, that's pretty much what yeah. Hitman is, guys. <laughs> There's barely any story in Hitman. I'm not shitting on the Timothy Oliphant, but uh, I don't know. Like, I'm not shitting on you, but I'm going to put my, my at least my butt cheeks on your face, if that's okay. <laughs> oh my god. So when you, have, when you turn on the pipes, this is where you go on the second floor. You have to turn the pipes on. So go in the one of those tunnels. Trying. Oh, hello, nipple. There goes the pipes. <sighs> Don't fall. Don't fall. You could have pushed it. What? You could have pushed the, the pipe like a bridge. Actually, fuck this game now. How the fuck am I supposed to know any of this? <laughs> oh my god. 
It was staring you in the face. Right there. Very good. Just yeah, yeah, yeah. That in. was clearly something you could push. Not sure, though. But... Okay, exploring no, is not that a, is not, not a thing. peach. Only in the spectral. Good. Okay. You're getting the you're getting the timing now. Uh. Yeah. Spectral realm. If you want to climb, it's gonna. The the. Still trying. Nope. Yeah. The border, the 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 ledge is gonna go lower. Yeah, obviously. But you still have to try. It doesn't look lower. Yeah. Or take a. Take a running jump. Oh. <laughs> Why not use the cube? Yeah. Good idea. Okay. Uh. Oh wait, I don't need to. Yes, I think that's it. Use yeah, that's that's clearly it. Again, I don't know if this is annoying or anything, but sorry if we're really slow on this. <laughs> 46 oh, look, hours there's even like... Oh, hello, Mr. T-Pose. That Whoa. was fucking hype. So you have to push that pipe. Yeah, oh my god, that guy know. fucking T-Pose... Like coming in the the fucking arena was great. <laughs> He's definitely going in the title of this episode, Mr. Tipos. That in um, Cyberpunk 2077, I only saw a few times the Tipos. Oh, did you see Not the Tipos with the dick over your jeans? Because that one looks fucking great. Like it's just absolutely like, how the fuck did that go through? Well, we all know why it got through because they didn't like test this. Another thing that was I recently learned from the the Castle Super Beast podcast, which, like I know, plug uh -huh. right, but uh, apparently uh, recently the developer kind of threw the uh, QA department under the bus by telling everybody uh -huh. that the bugs that made it in the final release we didn't catch them because we didn't find them, and everybody in the universe okay. that works in quality assurance was like, are you fucking serious? Uh -huh. You didn't catch them? That's impossible. <laughs> if there's one thing we know, is that the the QA industry knows what the fuck they're doing. Because there's so many bugs that they catch that devs just decide not to fix. And that guy going, eh, our team kind of sucked. That was fucking, like, terrible. Okay, so this, I got back to here, so I clearly shouldn't be here. So, in the huge wind tunnel room, there's technically, there are two pipes you have to, you can, like, there are, like, ledges, and, oh, see, there's, that's one room you have to go through up, go in there, but, a, this is the place you have to go, you have to climb, but, go back where the, the, that's, that's an important room, though. Sorry, what? This is an important room. Yeah, uh, but now that I know that this is where I should be, and that this really helps. Yeah, but you have to go further back where the you, you climbed up. You know the the wind tunnel yeah. room. Oh my god! Hey guys, you were waiting for me. Mm -hmm. Always happy to see you. It's a shame it's not re like reciprocated. Re yeah, reciprocal. Reciprocal? See, yeah, reciprocal. And See? now I have to push that pipe. Okay, now it makes push sense. Pipes. Now it makes fucking sense. Alright, we're back. Um, I am going to make an executive decision here. A lot of the platforming in this area <laughs> was just not interesting. And in fact, a lot of it was very frustrating. So, this is not a 100% walkthrough or whatever. We're just trying to... Ooh, hello. We're basically talking over a video game about what we like. And I'm going to make a decision that we're going to skip a lot of the platforming uh, from now on. Great. If it's not interesting or the commentary is not good, I'm going to cut it to make the videos more palatable. Because uh, yeah, we just went a good 20 minutes with almost no good discussion. And no, uh, I think I'm up to the boss now. This looks like yeah, it. That's, that's, that's chamber. All right. Well, here we go. Boss chambers. 
This is already fucking sick compared to everything I've seen. Oh, hello, buddy. You okay there? <laughs> I haven't seen that in fucking decades, man. Ooh. See the the Ooh. reference of the style of uh, the unborn? An alien Little xenomorph. Bit. A little bit. Yeah. You want to talk to me or? So you guys, you guys, you guys, you guys some eggs? Egg goes eggs. Wait, wait, wait. And let him talk. Let him talk. Zephon, Sorry. Your visage becomes you. It's an appropriate reflection of your soul. And you are not his handsome Raziel anymore. His precious firstborn son turned betrayer. You have missed so many changes, little Raziel. Look around you. See how the human's weapon of destruction has become my home. Indeed, my body. A cocoon of brick and granite from which to watch a pupating world. A crevice in which to cower, only scuttling from the shadows to devour a victim already ensnared in your cowardly trap. But you've made the mistake of leaving me unbound, and it is you who must succumb to my will. Will, instinct, reflex action. The insect mind finds little difference. I warn you, brother. As my stature has grown, so it is matched by my appetite. Step forward, morsel. Okay. Let's see. What do we got here? He's gonna. There's gonna be some eggs. Or you, of course, you you can. Uh, when you when he when the spikes are down, just take the take the reaver and uh, that's it. And when he's when he's got some eggs, take those eggs and uh, chuck him at uh, his rectum. Bruh. I think that's what it is. Um, so I have to bait the the legs down. Yep, bait the legs down, and then when you and then you break those legs with uh, the reaper. There you go. Okay. There you go. Ah, it's a lot more straightforward. Yeah. Chuck it. Chuck it. Did that do anything? I don't know. I remember doing that though. Okay. Uh, gonna go back here. What for? Uh, gain my HP back. Okay. Because without the Soul Reaver, I, I doubt I'm gonna break these things in one. Okay, here we go. Cheers. And back here. Still a pretty weird system being able to just heal during a boss fight with no consequences. Yeah. Really. Then again, the enemies they put down there are a lot a lot tougher than the regular ones. Okay, here we go. He's out of limbs. I don't know if that actually hurt him. Hello? Yeah. No, no, I'm, I'm uh, talking to the boss, like, boss, do you want to, okay, <laughs> you want to poop another one? I don't think that's how that works. Those eggs, I, I probably have to aim it at him when he's reaching down to hit me. Probably. Okay, let me try this. I guess it. Didn't seem to work. Uh, can you tell me how? Like, am I doing it correctly? Uh, no, no, but you're. Well, his limbs are, are almost gone, so you're in the right direction. What do you mean, almost gone? I'm pretty sure I got all four of them. Okay, so. Like, um, no, am I missing something? Like, am I doing it correctly? Okay. I don't know, it's just... Oh, you just don't remember? No, I, I, I don't remember. No. Yeah, try that. No, nope, it doesn't seem to work. I guess I'm gonna tickle him. 
until he shits out a baby <laughs> and then maybe light it on fire. Oh, Fuck yes, me. yes, yes. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Okay. There you go. Dude, again, I'm gonna say, how the fuck was I supposed to know? Yeah. The answer is, fuck you. <laughs> Soul Reaver, how the fuck was I supposed to know? The answer is, fuck you. That's the tagline. Okay, from now on, I'm not doing this blind. I'm gonna spoil myself on every fucking thing in this game. <laughs> this game does not play fair. At all. What game does? A uh, bunch of Zelda games do, man. Then again, Zelda games are for babies. Like, they're very easy. Ow. All right. Tickle butt! Okay, here we go. Like, on what planet are you supposed to understand you have to set his eggs on fire? But, yeah, how much time does it take for, you know, just... Just got everything and Yay, here we go. Uh, and the finale. Then again, maybe if you're like what's the rules for vampire killing, right? Yeah. It's water, fire, and sunlight. <laughs> oh man, that's great. <laughs> you know what? I guess it's fair because the rules of vampire killing are water, sunlight, and fire. Yeah. And yeah. if I don't have water or sunlight in this room, I gotta have fire, and there's a flame thorn. Consuming Zephon's yeah. apostate soul has bestowed on you a new gift. Like his vampire spawn, you are able to scale certain walls which are otherwise Oh, finally! Impossible. Wall scaling! Yeah. In the physical realm. Sick! In the spirit world, these insubstantial edifices will not support you. You know, the, the Elder God reminds me of Cthulhu. He may as well be. Yeah. Okay, well, sick. All right, um, yeah. Uh, this boss fight. Uh, <laughs> yeah. The, okay, you know what? It's fair because flamethrower. Yeah. In the mountains beyond the pillars, Nosgoth's cataclysms have exposed an ancient crime. Endowed with Zephon's soul, you may now progress where your path was hitherto impeded. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, areas uh -huh. we're gonna have to circle in the next episode, but we're gonna change yeah. we're gonna change the show format a little bit. Um, uh -huh. What we're gonna do is I think we're gonna do a lot more post commentary, where we're gonna have footage, and we're gonna talk over the footage. Uh, I, I I know this might disappoint some people who like the blind aspect, but. Uh, these episodes are going to be insanely long, and there's going to be a lot of just nothing happening, and I, I don't feel like that's going to be super entertaining. But so far, uh, I'm still looking forward to whatever the story has in store for me. When it comes to gameplay and level design, I'm going to be honest, I got to pull out the... the I got to pull out the boxer gloves. I, I think this game is trying to fuck with me now. <laughs> like, actively trying to fuck with me. <laughs> this shit is... Not just cryptic, it, it borders on the point of where, okay, where's my strategy guide? I don't think that's possible without it. Then again, I might just be stupid. That's still a possibility. Oh, that's a, that's a given anyways. Oh, it's always a given. We'll see you guys next time. This is the end of the episode. Bye-bye. So, share and subscribe. See you next time. Okay, sure. Ciao, guys. <laughs>